Wow. She's, it sounds like you're a, a flight attendant. It does. I'm Sit sorry. Back and enjoy the ride. And I'm sorry that you have to go from the soothing tones of Felicia's voice to whatever shrill yelling you're going to get now. But we're excited. Passion. We can't contain it when we're this excited to tie dye. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for coming to our class today. We are the Pretty Life Girls. We blog over at prettylifegirls.com. You can follow us everywhere on social media at Pretty Life Girls. My name is Liz. This is my sister, Sam. We make attainable, elevated, colorful, beautiful crafts on our site, and we are tie-dye obsessed. Our number one favorite brand is Tulip, is Tulip Tie-Dye because it's the ease of use is amazing. The color lines are awesome. They have incredible kits. It's a great uh, place for beginners to start and for advanced people to use. It's the most foolproof brand of tie-dye out there. You're going to love this. We're so excited about the idea of bringing tie-dye into your Christmas traditions. This year, tie-dye was huge. And maybe this summer you tie-dyed with us in some of our classes that we taught, or maybe you follow us on our blog. But we thought it'd be really fun to bring the tradition of Christmas pajamas and combine it with tie-dye it can be something that's like interactive with your family that you make all together, or you can make them and give them as gifts. But it's a really fun way to combine the trend of tie-dye and the tradition of having matching jammies uh, for Christmas. Um, before we get started, we want to tell you about our book that came out this year. This is the DIY Guide to Tie-Dye Style. It has 20 beautiful crafts and projects you can do with tie-dye. It also has all the tools we like to use. It walks you through binding. It walks you through setting and application. It's great for beginners and beyond. You can get it on Amazon or on our shop, which is at prettylifegirls.com. We're pretty proud of this thing. And there are tons of tie-dye projects um, that we used Tulip for. If you have a crafter in your life, this is a great gift. So you can hand it held up head over to our blog, prettylifegirls.com to grab your copy and then grab your tulip kits and get together and be like such a cute gift for any crafter. We actually life. on our shop, which is shop.prettylifegirls.com, mm -hmm. we have a couple pre-made bundles mm -hmm. with a book. And I think we have like a dish towel one where you can make your own tie-dye dish towel, use the book as a reference for binding techniques and a couple other bundles that would be such a fun yeah. gift. And so. if you if you ordered this week, we could get it to you in time for Christmas and it'd be mm -hmm. great for the crafters. Yes. So, so okay. fun. Okay, and now Sam is gonna teach us how to make these jams. Okay, before we move to the overhead and jump in, we want to um, highlight the Tulip Crazy Socks because maybe you don't know about them. Oh my god! And they are I'm so, so fun. excited. So here, let's these, these I too. love these, the idea of these in a stocking. What if you got these and some tie-dye in our book? Oh. That'd be so cute. Be so cute. Okay, go, go. Okay, so we're going to be dyeing 100% cotton pajamas. You could find white cotton pajamas all over. We can talk more about that in a second. But right now, we're talking about the tulip crazy socks. So from here, they just look like plain white socks. But the fun thing about them, I don't know if you can see it on here, but they have um, designs on them that resist the dye. So you put the dye on however you want. After you dye them and rinse them, these fun patterns come to the surface. So um, we have donuts, galaxy, galaxy, mermaid, and cats. Here's the don't, oh, sorry, we'll do this. Um, these are the donut ones that we made to go with one of our sets. And they're so fun. Like my kids died over this. And such an easy project for kids because you just squirt it and then set it and wash it and it's like this really fun thing yes, okay you don't have to bind or anything yes <clears throat> okay liz will you do something for me I while do something for you i just really want to be able to see the chat so that we yes. can engage and make sure we're not missing anything so will you just sorry guys will you just move the plug to this side yes. and bring, and the, bring computer the computer over, over and join the yep. class so we can watch um yeah okay sorry about that people we want to talk to you. We love talking to you. Okay. Oh, so no, sorry. It's okay. okay. We want to make sure we see our friends like Cricket, who always joins. Oh, I love Cricket. <laughs> Shauna. So make sure you say hi so that we can watch for you. 
and I'm going to log in here. And while we're doing this and put it in our chat, what tie dye projects you did this year, if you've done any, um, I clicked it. So it should oh, be perfect. coming. Okay. Sorry, you guys. Jeez. We just I wanted just, to talk as to you. we were talking, I was like, no, I can't. I need to, <laughs> I need to see what the people are saying. Okay. So let's get started here. We can move to the overhead. Recording in progress. Okay. So and mute. Sorry. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Okay, you get started. I'll do. Okay. This. Is is the volume okay? Are we not echoing anymore? Did we fix it? Everything is good. Okay. Great. Okay. okay. So now we can see. Where did you buy Yay. the PJs? Perfect. Okay. So it. Mary, <laughs> let me show you this. This is so I have three kids and I. I knew that they would feel left out. I mean, besides the baby. So I got a little jammy for the baby. I got that on Amazon. And then I got my bigger kids matching. So a top and a bottom. And these ones I got, um, oh, we like a brand called Leveret. It's L-E-V-E-R-E-T. And you can get it on leveret.com or they also sell on Amazon. They're soft, they're white, cotton. Um, yeah, so as you can see here, I did these matching. So this will be a set for my son. And rather than doing everybody's the same color, I thought it would be fun to do their favorite colors, but do the same binding technique for all of them. Why don't we open it so they can see how. It looks better on the onesie. Um, okay, so this is a Shibori inspired binding technique. So we'll show you how to fold it. It uses a twine instead of rubber bands, which you're probably most used to doing. So I thought it would be cute for everyone to have a different color, but a similar pattern. You could do everyone the same color. You could do different patterns. Yes. You could do whatever you want because the truth is a group of people in tie-dye is oh, it's cute. So fun. I love a group of people. In so yes. um, we're keeping this pretty simple. Also, we're just dyeing them. And, but you could add a vinyl mm -hmm. design if you wanted them to be really festive. Mm -hmm. You could put your last name on them since they're family. Yeah, if you go to the, you know, in Michael's, the um, aisle where you can do all the fabric crafts and it's like the t-shirts and the tie-dye, you'll see that there's a lot of um, different products that Tulip makes and that, um, what's the other brands? Um, that they yeah it's just tulip I guess they, yeah they, they do, do like spray sprays and, and then they have like markers and dimensional you know, paint yes, and all sorts of dimensional things. magic all that stuff so the in that aisle you can find all different kinds of ways to embellish them if you want to go mm -hmm. further than just tie dye okay sorry get started. no this is great okay. okay and now we can see our chat now so let us know what you've tie dyed this year let us know what you're making right now yeah I don't think it shows us any up. Questions. it's showing anything before we started yes. so we only see Mary's question so if you put a question and we missed it, let us know and also make sure and say hi. Okay. Okay. So let's start this. I'm going to show you how to do this binding technique. And I don't know what the name is, but I do know it's Shibori inspired, which is yes. just a manual resist. I think Shibori is the Japanese original tie dye. Right. Where they use something indigo. like a wood or a, or you wrap it, or there's some yes. extra um, piece that you're using to create that resist. Yes. Okay. So here is our shirt and it's damp. And what we're going to do is we're going to do an accordion fold. So I have mine folded vertically like this, and I'm just going to do like inch and a half accordion like this. And it doesn't have to be perfect. One thing that I do try because I'm always sad when on the middle of like the main part, if you buy, if you fold it so the middle is tucked in too far, then you'll have like a blank spot here. Mm -hmm, right so I want to make sure that right in the middle, I get some dye. So you can see right here, this part sticking out a little farther than the rest. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to just flip it to the other side. When you're looking for your fabrics for your pajamas, it doesn't have to be 100% cotton. It can be kind of hard. You want majority. You want majority of a natural fiber. So I wouldn't go more than like six, six, seventy percent of a no less than sixty or seventy cotton. Yes, 
but you can have a little bit of a mix if that's all you can find. Yes. I love to do tie dye. <laughs> Hi, oh, Mary. the two, Mary, you're going to love this two minute. It's really, oh. really cool. So we're very, very impatient <laughs> and the two minute tie dye was made just for us. <laughs> okay. So I have this bound <laughs> or folded and now I'm going to bind it. And from trial and error, I have learned that it works the best if you use a cord that is coated in something. So not just like a cotton cord. I can show you what I mean here. So this is how I learned this. On this one, I used a cotton twine and I also got this center, empty center. So I learned that too. You can see these little detailed spots where there are these little horizontal lines. And I wanted a lot of those because it makes it interesting. But because I used a cotton cord, it sucked up the dye and put the dye right back onto the shirt. Mm -hmm. So on the baby one, you'll see it looks a little bit more elaborate. You can see more of these horizontal lines. You can really see it back here because I used a leather cord, well, like a faux leather cord, mm -hmm. so that it would resist the dye better. Um, so something plastic or so, something. Yes. I was even thinking like wire would work well mm -hmm. if you're not using two minute tie dye. So I want to put wire in the microwave. Exactly. Um, but yeah, something that won't soak up the dye mm -hmm. and just put it right back on Got to it. the shirt. That makes so sense. I have my leather cord <clears throat> and all I'm going to do is just start wrapping it. And this part is the most time consuming. It's not difficult can be a little frustrating, <laughs> especially when you're doing like a long pant leg. Oh my gosh. Yes. Then it just can be a little tricky. That's right. To keep it folded and wrap it because you have to kind of like and do how this. tightly would you say? I would doing? do it as tight as you can. Okay. So I'm pulling it tight and I'm going to wrap all the way down and then I'm going to wrap back up. And so Liz, while I'm doing this. Yes. First, I want to show you. So we were talking about Shibori and in our uh, book, we have a couple of different Shibori projects. Um, so if you've never done Shibori before, that's a really great place to start. But I love these, um, these, this art we made that Shibori mm -hmm. here is, we just framed it. We did it on like, um, what are those? Like napkins, Nap fabric, fabric napkins. Fabric napkins. And they're pressed between two pieces of cardboard and then wrapped with a rubber band. So Shibori is cool because you incorporate some other piece to help give you the designs that you want. Whereas typically you're just binding it with rubber bands um, or with other kinds of, I guess, rope or whatever. Yeah. But Shibori is really cool because it's a little bit more organic looking. Mm -hmm. um, and it is, like you said, using things like around your house, like people yeah. will use those black clamp paper clips yes. and stuff like that to get really cool designs. They'll do stitching yes. with thread and wrapping it around tubes and mm -hmm. things like that. The other thing I was thinking is if you wanted to do these pajamas and mix colors the we thought about like, is there a way to do red and green? But really no, unless you're okay with muddled <laughs> colors. So something you want to think like about this. with tie dye is the color wheel. So red and green are going to make brown if they mix. So sticking with light colors is going to get you a lot of good results. Um, all warm colors, all cool colors or primary colors. Solids. Um, solids. So if you wanted to do red and green, I would say maybe do red top, green bottom, unless you're okay with a little bit of muddling. Yes. Or just be so careful. And I would probably do like the green dyeing, set it, rinse it, wash it, mm -hmm. then do the red yes. and be really careful about your placement. Right. Um, because you can control it, but it is hard, especially if it's, if you are using them both, like when they're wet, yes, you can't keep them from moving yes. into each other. That's right. So just really think about that when you're choosing your colors for your pajamas and you'll have great success with them. And I mean, if you're doing it as a family and your kids are doing their own, just let them at it. <laughs> just That's the fun it. of tie dye is. Okay, I'm, I'm a control freak, so yes. I will let my kids at it, but I'll give them 
two complimentary Very colors. Smart. <laughs> because then they really can't mess it yes. up. Yes, that's really smart. If you have any questions about tie-dye, put them in the chat. We'll be happy to answer them for you. It can be, we can, we are very used to tie-dye. We've done a lot this year. And so we can go kind of quick, but yes. Um, and as with this, you could just kind of see, I, as I went wrapping the first time, I tried to just hold the accordion in place. So it didn't totally unravel. And you could keep going up and down, up and down on this if you wanted. I think I am good here. Mm -hmm. And so then let me bring up my trusty tie-dye container. My tie-dye, and Liz was mentioning how Tulip is our favorite because of their wonderful colors. And I'm sure you've seen their traditional kits, but like with this one, they have kits that have mint like this color is so beautiful, beautiful. pastel this colors. is a blush that I'm using for my little girl and there's a my favorite set has like an olive green a, plum, mm -hmm. a, a blush oh it's so, it's so pretty. good okay so we have this here and let's do socks too oh fun they just put in the chat one of our previous courses oh, that yes. we did which was our uh the pastel loungewear where we did a stripe Stripes. technique and it was a blue and a purple right yes will you go so wet those yes, really quick okay so liz is gonna go get the socks stamp and then we'll put our dye on so you can see you can dye, you can dye things dry um, parts of this have kind of dried out, so you'll see that the dye just goes on it a little bit differently. It's not absorbed as easily, and it doesn't spread as much. So you might get more jagged lines, less like flow. Um, a little okay. So all I'm going to do with these is just scrunch them up a little bit, and you can do you could bind them. I want to make sure the design comes through. And so I'm just going to scrunch them and start dyeing. Where did I put my gloves? Oh, right here. The great thing about getting tulip tie dye is it comes with the bottle. The powder is in the bottle. You just add hot water and shake it up and you're ready to go. And you don't have to do any kind of um, free soaking or, or fix it. You do want to free wash yes. just because fabrics a lot of times have like a finish on them that will repel, but it is a true one step. Yes, so it has the soda ash mixed in, if you've heard of that, that makes it cling to the fabric. And okay, so now we're just gonna go at this. I'm gonna start with the socks. It's a pretty color. So pretty. Something to think about when you're applying your color is when you apply it, it's going so to be darker after. than after it's washed and dried. So um, if you're thinking it's too dark, it's too dark, it's going to lighten up quite a bit once it's washed and dried. This has dried a lot. Will you go rinse? Yes, I will. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's okay. Okay. So right now you can, you can kind of see the pattern coming, but once you set it and wash it, the color, the resist design really comes through. I'm just going to pull it this. I'm just coating it. Just kind of squeeze it on these socks to make sure it's getting everywhere. Okay, so now we're going to just cover this. Are pajamas a tradition for any of you? Is that something you do every year or is this a new thing you're thinking of incorporating? I never, we never really did that as mm -hmm. kids, but as I've gotten older now, I, with my own kids, I like doing it a lot. It's yeah, really my mother-in-law gets them for my kids and they love it. Yeah. They think it is so fun. And I wonder why our it. parents never did it. Should we, do we need to take that to therapy and talk? Take <laughs> <laughs> it to the therapy. What do you guys think? Were we, were we abused <laughs> by our parents? Okay, so we just soak this as much as we can here. Okay, and then comes the two minute. This one. Ouch. Here. Okay, so the two minute tie dye is this container. And what you're going to do is sit this in it. I'm going to do the socks and the shirt 
separately. You're gonna click it shut and you're gonna pop it in the microwave for two minutes. Then you're gonna let it sit for 15 minutes so that you don't burn your hands off. And, and when you, before you put it in there, like Sam said about the wire before, make sure you don't have any rivets or wires or anything metal before yes. you put it in your microwave. Yes, yeah, so you're gonna put it in there, two minutes, bring it out, let it sit for 15 minutes, then rinse it. You're gonna do the same thing with the socks. And then the magic of, <laughs> so I have the bottoms here that have already been set in the two minute tie up. So we're gonna, okay. So generally like with rubber bands, I have no problem just cutting them off. But since this is like leather cording, I'm gonna cut it because I used it for the green too. We grab, yes, I oh, there's scissors behind me too then I'm just going to cut it. Just be careful when you're cutting that you don't get the fabric. I've done, I've got the fabric way too many You have to be times. careful. Just slow down. Just slow I know down. it's exciting to see. <laughs> There's, I way. just can barely stand it. I just it's get so, so excited to see how it turns out. Yes. Okay, Liz, while I'm unwrapping. Yes. Will you do some Christmas trivia? Do you guys want to do some Christmas trivia? We love to do Christmas trivia in our <laughs> Christmas classes, and this is my favorite one to ask every year because it's wild. Okay, it's here is my Christmas trivia question for you. How many gifts would you receive if you received all of the gifts in the song, The 12 Days of Christmas? Who are our mathies? Okay, mathematicians, pencils ready. <laughs> How many gifts would one you have? plus two, plus three, plus four. Shh, let them do it. Wait, no. One plus one plus two. Wait, is that no. what it is? I don't know. I don't want to do it. No. I just want to see if they know the answer. How many gifts would you receive if you got all of the gifts from the 12 days of Christmas? All the birds, all the freaking birds. I feel like as I've listened to it as an adult, I'm like, why so many birds? Why? What's up with the birds? But then it changes to like dancers. It's very and random. No. Okay, wait. Oh, okay. 85. Okay. Ooh, so Phil. I think. Phyllis probably did the math that I had said first that it's just like one plus Good two guess, plus Phyllis. three. But what it is is actually okay. So on the twelfth day of Christmas, you get all that stuff again. Uh -huh. On the eleventh day, you get one through eleven. Uh -huh. On the tenth, you get one through ten. Uh -huh. So it's like you actually end end up with twelve partridges in a pear tree uh -huh. and twenty four turtle doves. Yes. You do. Right? Yes. So that's where it gets Phyllis, tricky. Not quite right, but I see where you were going. 78 misses A. Not, no, not 78. Way more, you guys. It's very excessive. It's, gift it's honestly so many birds. I don't know. I don't get it. And milkmaids. Do you guys want to know the answer or should we wait? Yeah, go. Oh, I want to see if anybody Okay, it. we'll wait a minute. Okay. And then we'll reveal our pants. Okay. Anybody? Any? Or just say like, we don't want to wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay the answer is 364 that's a gift almost every day of the year a bird for almost every day of the year it's 364 gifts. Lords. what oh, are you gonna do with the leaping know. lords i don't know get out of my house leaping lords. okay go ahead thank you for playing mrs a phyllis we love it okay go on. all right so to review we wrapped it we bound it we put the dye we put it in our handy container that you microwave for two minutes, yes. let cool for 15. Yes. Rinse it some, mm -hmm. take off the binding, rinse it a little bit more until the water runs clear. Um, just for comparison, if you're not using the two minute tie dye, it needs to set in like a plastic bag for eight to 24 hours. Mm -hmm. So we really love the two minute because who has that kind of time? I don't have that kind of time. And I want to know what it looks like. Yes, so. same. Okay. All right, so let's do this. Sorry, Felicia, to make you jump all over. Oh, you're good. <laughs> okay, so uh, look how, uh, uh oh, did we lose it? Close. Right at the reveal. Oh, oh there it is. Okay. All right. Cute. Isn't it? It's like, oh, and that pastel pink is it's so, so lovely. good. Mm -hmm. And yes, so we got those good horizontal lines, yes. which is what I was going for. Yes. I wanted it to be a little more intricate than just like a stripe. Mary Pretty says Mary, thank you. So, Mary. so fun. So then you would rinse it. So the water runs clear, wash it and dry it in your laundry. We like to wash 
the first time wash our tie dye separately from anything else. To be honest, if I was doing three sets of tie dye, like green and pink at the same time, I would put them all in the laundry at the same time. I would have rinsed them really well, but I would trust that they, the setting process worked. Yes, just don't have anything else in there that's not tie dyed for the first wash. Yes. So how cute together my kids are gonna be. And bring that one so over. Cute. Then I'm gonna do probably like red for me. Oh my. I love that. That's adorable. What do you guys think? What would you do? Would you do everyone in the same color? Or does tie-dye go well enough together? I love this. You know, and this, for some reason, this palette is popular, it's really popular. with a red, mm -hmm. um, like the mints and the pinks and stuff. I love it. I think it's so it's cute. It's really cute. Okay, so, and then with your fun socks too. Yes, so you would process the socks the same way. Oh, someone said something. What temperature should be used? Mm -hmm. um, I would just how you wash cottons. So if you don't want, shrinking then yeah just the same way you would wash yes. normal cottons um because again you've already set the dye so it shouldn't change mm -hmm. how the dye is clinging to yes. the fabric um heather says is that a special container yes oh so this yes. is specifically I have a used. great um tulip has an awesome kit that is a two minute tie-dye that you cook it in the microwave and you want this special container because it helps keep the steam in keeps it from melting all that sort of thing this so is what the kit looks like it comes with the container um and like we said typically tie-dye has to set for eight hours and this you do two minutes in the microwave and then a 15 minutes still in the container and then you're done and and your project is ready yeah. to go here's the container is can you can get that in box of room can oh through this way? That way. Oh, thank you. Yeah, sorry, I was not thinking. <laughs> and this is the container. It's honestly changed tie-dye for me because yes. I have in my head that it's gonna like be a few hours yes. before, but it's like, no, this actually took me 30 minutes. Yes. Okay, Aside so that from me washing. Like you need to turn everything. Oh yeah, should we turn it? Let's turn it. Okay. Because I, I didn't realize what we were doing here. Me okay, neither. so. Can you imagine like dyeing all of your things in their colors and then dyeing all the socks to match the sets of the jammies? It's just so cute. 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 I wonder if you can even see the design is good. Let me hold it up a little bit. There you is go. Is that so fun? That's the donuts. So These fun. These ones are not, we all need to wash them. We'll need to wash, but see. here's a cut. I'll hold up the, here's the mermaid. It'll be like a mermaid Scales. design. I really like that they did the three mermaid 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 colors. colors. This one for Sam's daughter. Oh my gosh. Cats. Except Kitty these cats. ones are adult. My husband would Oh, like your those. husband. Yes, he does love <laughs> cats. That's true. <laughs> They're so fun. I bought that set a couple months ago. The two minute, Mary, is that what oh, you're Mary, saying? Oh, Mary, yay, do it this weekend. And will you tag it. us? If you do it, you can tag um, at Free Life Girls and also at Tulip Color Crafts so we can see what you make with it. Yes, so a couple things with the two minute is if you are putting something small in there, like even the socks, maybe wouldn't need the full two minutes. Mm -hmm. You don't want to cook them. Um, so you could start doing like a minute and just make sure it's not drying it out completely. Mm -hmm. We've done that before yes, we where we have cooked our fabric. And yes, Heather, you can use any of your tulip dyes in the kit. So you don't have to get um, special, get special ones. Any tulip tie dye will work in that kit. Yes. And it is, it really is a game changer for tie dye because yes. you can just like, do the tie dye and not have to remember it in yes. eight hours, which is a problem that I have. Yes, that's so true. Um, what other questions? This is just mm -hmm. so fun. I can't wait to get my kids and them and take I a know. picture. Yes, we'll be posting pictures soon of her and her kids, the whole family, and these on our um, Instagram at Pretty Life Girls. So if you want to see everything finished once it's dry and kids are wearing it and they're by the tree, they'll be on our um, Instagram at Pretty Life Girls really soon. Um, and like we said before, make sure you're following Tulip Color Crafts. They post so many awesome projects that you could be doing. Um, so make sure you're following them on Instagram. And then um, as far as Michael's classes, make sure that you're following at Michael's stores. Um, and any of these projects you make, make sure you, like we said, tag us, tag Tulip Color Crafts and hashtag 
Michael's classes because we want to see what you made. We want to share it. If you, like we said before, are a tie-dye beginner and you're curious about different tips, we've done some other projects uh, similar to this on the Michael's YouTube page. So you can head over there and find some of our YouTube videos. And you can also find our book on our blog, prettylifegirls.com. It's great for beginners and beyond. Um, I'm teaching another class next month that's mm -hmm. going to be a Valentine's shirt with a heart binding, which is so a favorite fun. binding. We have I'll show yeah, you an it's so so cute. So sign up for that one. Um, oh yeah, look at this. It's so cute. <laughs> so cute. Oh wait, okay. You there can you bind oh. it like like a heart. There you go. Is that so, it's fun? so fun? So we'll be doing a cute Valentine's shirt. And we would love to see you there. Yes. And if you have any tie-dye questions in the meantime, at Tulip Color, Color Crafts, send them a DM, send it to us at Pretty Life Girls. We're happy to help you. And happy holidays, you guys. We hope you have so much fun making. Yes. Thank you for joining us. And we'll see you next time. Bye.